Hey y'all, so I just took a shower and um, I realized that I am um, getting the same things that I was getting the first time around when I got uh, my autoimmune disease. So I'm gonna try to show you guys what I'm talking about because I think that this is exactly the same way that it started. like one of my worst fears is for this to come back like full-blown um, like it has before but let me show you what I'm talking about um, here um, you see how it looks kind of like a pimple it's on my nose this is how it started off last time looking like a pimple and then it became those big scabs that I used to have on this side I also have something, it's pretty bad lighting, but it's nighttime and that's all I got. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure was a scratch for my son, for my baby, but I have one on this side. And that's the thing though, that with the autoimmune disease, the way that it starts is actually um, like that on both sides of my nose. That's how I had it last time. Maybe that's a little bit better lighting. I anyway. ended up getting some new scabs. Um, well, actually, some new blisters. And I I got bitten, but I think I had no CMs. I think they're called no CMs. And, um, and mosquitoes. And I had these little blisters that um, showed up after I got the initial regular mosquito bite or whatever. I ended up getting this little blister. And... Um, the first time around when I, well, a little bit before I found out that I had pemphigus vulgaris, uh, that's how my, um, that's how I started to get my blisters. And then after I had gotten my head scabs, then I had those blisters from the mosquito bites. I started getting the ones on my nose. And I know I've told you guys about that, but um, just, um, I just found out a couple of days ago that I was getting them on my nose again. So I got a little bit on this side, a little bit on this side. You see this one's kind of scabbed already. This one's, this one's a little bit bigger. It seems like it's this whole red spot. And, um, and I'm really bummed out about it because that's how it started last time and that's how it got bad really, really fast is after I got them on my nose. Um, so I had to really, really kind of give up everything again uh, food wise I had you know I told you guys that I still ate kind of some junk here and there and um, I started eating you know having some dairy and some stuff like that so I wasn't doing a hundred percent like how I have done before so I decided that I'm gonna give this whole thing a try again I'm gonna go start from zero pretty much um, what I started off doing was because right now, so, you know, I cut my hair to help the scabs on my head. Um, but what I have been doing the last few days, I mean, maybe like three days is that I've been covering my scalp with coconut oil and, um, taking off some of those scabs that are lifting up with the oil and I've been getting those out and then washing my hair and then I, I did it again yesterday. Um, I covered my head in coconut oil, and all through, you know, I fell asleep like that. I put a, um, I put a towel over my pillowcase, and uh, I slept like that the whole night. And this morning, I had my sister help me take out, you know, some more of those scabs that are that are a little bit loose on there. Um, I took a shower. And then um, just to wash all the coconut oil out and to wash all the, the scab that stays, you know, like in your hair. Um, and then I had my sister help me add honey because I have um, read and heard that honey helps a lot with healing. You can actually put honey on an open wound and it would help. And so I said, I mean, why not? Let's just give it a try. Um, I've been trying everything that I can. Like I said, I'm always uh, willing to try new things if it's going to help and try to make it as natural as possible because I have already taken all of the medication uh, for it. And um, I'm not a big fan. 
I know that it does help, but it also really, really, really sucks with all of the side effects. So um, I did that now. Um, I, I had my sister help me put a bunch of honey on my head. So I have all that right now, um, all the bunch of honey on my head. And uh, I guess I should probably put some on my nose. Um, I'll, I'll put some on my nose and then see how that goes. And um, so this is this is kind of the beginning. Yesterday and today I've had um, very, very kind of little to eat because I'm still trying to figure out what to eat. I found this website that's supposed to be like a Pemphigus vulgaris or a Pemphigus pemphigoid website. Um, that I hadn't seen before and I just found it recently just maybe a week ago this list has like like things that are supposed to um, you're supposed to try to avoid when you have pemphigus or pemphigoid um, I haven't also looked in depth into this list or into this website but I am going to do that but there's some things on there that you're not supposed to eat um, or that's supposed to help and so I decided to maybe try not to eat those things and so already trying to avoid dairy, trying to avoid gluten, trying to avoid nightshades, trying to avoid some of those things make it difficult to come up with um, dinner or food ideas. Isaac! Hey. <laughs> There's Isaac. Isaac came to say hi. You say hi? Hi! Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so I, I figured that I would, you know, try to try to go back to zero um, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've been eating uh, trying to keep it super simple because I don't I don't know you know I'm, I'm kind of back to square one you know I'm, I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna be posting videos so you guys can kind of see my um, so you guys can see my journey you know and and what will work or what won't work and how I'm doing and and like I said this is all it's all just how it works with my body, how it works for me. Um, and then, you know, you guys can, can take it from there.